My name is Mo Finley. I am from Lafayette, Alabama, and I'm a UAB graduate, class of 2004. My childhood was a typical childhood, small town, everyone loves sports, close-knit community, um, just kind of everyone knows everyone. Um, and our community loves sports, and so growing up, sports was a huge passion of mine, as it is today. And so that kind of gave me, I guess, a foundation uh, for what my adult life would look like. My uncles were, were high school basketball players and, and college basketball players, so uh, they were probably my first heroes uh, from an athletic standpoint. My dad uh, played sports as a young man, too, so uh, we just looked to the people that were closest to us. As a UAB student, I think I learned uh, just how to form relationships with people from who are and were different from me. Uh, I grew up in a very small place and everyone was, uh, their parents all worked in the same place. They all, you know, did the same things on the weekends and UAB gave me an opportunity to meet people who were completely different from me. I think my time at UAB was probably um, bittersweet in a way because I think the earlier years we were there, I was there, I thought we had really good teams and we didn't play up to our potential all the time. And so uh, getting a chance to go out my senior year, you know, playing in the NCAA tournament, we got a chance to play Washington in the first round, Kentucky the second round, and we lost to Kansas in the Sweet 16. But um, I think it's, it's all, when I think of Kentucky, the Kentucky game, I think is obviously a really cool deal just to get to play in the NCAA tournament, no matter who you're playing against. It's a fun thing. It's the one time where everyone in the world who's watching basketball is probably watching you. And so for me, um, I think that was just a, a moment that I'll always kind of reflect on fondly, especially during the NCAA tournament time. Uh, after the shot, um, I had, uh, I guess my coach, we talked before the game. And of course, you know, during the NCAA, NCAA tournament, any game can be your last game. And so we just talked about really and truly enjoying the moment. Uh, in truth, it makes sense because, you know, you never know, like t the next minute truly isn't promised to you. And so you want to make sure that you enjoy uh, wherever you are and what you're doing at that moment. And so after the shot, that was my mindset. Like I just had a, an overwhelming sense of gratitude. and I was very thankful uh, about the fact that I'm here, I'm alive, I'm breathing, I'm walking. Uh, like I understand that it could have easily been me who was on the other side of the world in a war stricken country or in a position where I, you know, you don't have the access to be a, ba a college basketball player. And so after the thought, I thought to myself, you know, just you know, thank God I'm, I am who I am, where I am right now. College basketball was a, a fun experience for me. It was something I had really worked for and looked forward to my whole life. Uh, again, I had uncles, my, my first basketball heroes played college basketball. And so that inspired me uh, to try to become a, a college basketball player as well. I think college is, as you and your classmates know, is probably the best time of your life. Uh, it's an extremely uh, stressful time but it's fun at the same time and college basketball was uh, a great experience for for me and for I'm sure all of my teammates. For the viewer my advice to everyone who will get a chance to see this video is just to enjoy wherever you are at that particular moment in your life. Uh, you guys are college kids so I'm assuming that a lot of you are young and so there are a lot of amazing things to see in this world and to do and you're gonna be doing it. You're gonna be, you know, 20 years from now, I'll look on TV or somewhere and I'll read your name and see you and I'll, you know, it's amazing stuff. Everything is available for you. And so make sure you take advantage and uh, embrace the differences in people and the differences in, in different cultures and ideas. Kind of embrace it. Don't, I would say, don't close your mind off to, to everything uh, so easily. Uh, do your best to, to work together and make this place a, uh, an awesome place for, for, my, for my kid and for your kid, your future kids. I don't know if you got kids now, but your future kids, you know. Your future kids.